the forefront. Now you are. So, waiting on Yoshi to get into this wonderful channel. Or this wonderful Marigone Ladder Edition. Oh, man, I'm watching you on Quap, man. You are a struggle bus, and you ne never hold the shift button, KS. What do you mean you never hold it? You, like, have to hold it. Well, yeah, you don't hold it. You gotta pump the brakes. Oh, it's so funny watching you struggle. Oh, I love how that E1... Oh, man. It's like, it's so close. I'm just, like, screw it at that point. Anyways, uh, put John in instead. Yoshi went missing. Okay. So, well, waiting. Then. So waiting on one other player, and then we will get into game number four. Oh, do you see what we almost had, though, with what? the player names? What? Do you see the other player? Koopa. We almost had Yoshi. Oh, we had Koopa. Yoshi. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what? Right? Oh, yeah. my gosh. you got to be kidding me. Dang it, uh, John. Okay. Well, let's see if everybody is ready. Koopa says go. John <laughs> says, go, go. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and get things rolling. We are going to have a ZVP here on Merry-Go-Round Ladder Edition. Hope everybody enjoyed the wonderful GURP in between games as we did get things set up. We'll go ahead and switch over to the wonderful in-game cam. Ooh, and we're going to have PV again on... One of those odd maps, and correct me if I'm wrong. Now, would this be radial symmetry? Uh, no, I don't think so. Cause radial sim, maybe I don't know. Like it, it's it's symmetry at 120 degrees, essentially. Yes. Um. Basically, if you take a point from the center of the Which map outward rotational symmetry yes rotation at 120 yes there ah. there you go wonderful who says you didn't learn things on uh, our stream yes exactly so good evening ladies and gentlemen welcome to game number 4 we've got team liquid strat going up against deadly gaming and this as I mentioned before, is going to be game number four. We are going to have a ZVP here on Merry-Go-Round Ladder Edition. Spawning in the upper left-hand corner in the purple trunks for Team Liquid Strat. It's John. And for Deadly Gaming, spawning in the bottom hand. That, well, not bottom hand, just the bottom of the map. In the red trunks, we have Koopa. And in case you are new uh, to Thunderdog, they do play all five games regardless. So, oh, it looks like Yoshi just got back. Oh, but, sad uh, face. <gasps> the other chaos. chaos. No, the other, oh, God. The other chaos. You, you terrified me. No, no, I wouldn't do that to you. Yeah, Gosh. I was like, plus I can still hear you, so this is odd. Yeah, exactly. So. Yes, but they are, they do play for points, so it's one game per point. Uh, sorry, one point per game. Ooh, yeah, that's a little better. So, Deadly Gaming is still playing for something. Now, they cannot win the match per se, but they can come back and at least earn those two points, which will give them a nice little respectable earning. And Koopa looks like he's trying to go with some Forge fast expandiness. Hmm. That's actually really odd. Like, ah, I still, I, I cannot... I, 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 I refuse to do a Forge Fast Expand ever. Like I, I can't I, do it. I know. It's like why? Why? It just. It's such a oh, slow. Oh, he wants a Nexus first. Ooh, a, a denied Nexus first. Yeah, I think at this point he should just go plop down that Forge. Yeah, I mean, a hundred, a hundred minerals, a hundred and fifty. Holy cow, he's. Po yeah. Oh, the <laughs> oh, and a successful, another successful block. Wow. Oh, yeah, John just kind of showing, hey, I like to harass and whatnot, because I know you're trying to build this wall. And, and that build time, a little rough. Yeah, wow. That was that was actually a big win for John. Like, that, while it might not seem that much, you know, even, even just a couple of, you know, 10 seconds or more, denying a base is just, pff, holy cow. That's just the yeah. worst thing ever. Oh, it throws you off your game. I mean, even just mentally, it just kind of throws you off because you're just like, I just want it. 
I just want to plant down my nexus and my forge. And you just can't quite do it. The Zerg just being super annoying. It's the worst feeling. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> John going for his hatchery first. It's gonna be. Is that a full wall off? Uh, no. Uh, Probe uh, just snuck out, so it's not quite. There's oh, a gap between the debris. Yeah, he. Yeah. The debris and the pylon. Yeah, so unfortunately for Koopa, definitely not going to get that first scout. Uh, it's definitely going to be a little bit disappointed. Actually, he already scouted. Why is he going over there? What am I doing? I think it was on a waypoint, and he just went to the second one. It just said, not yeah, paying what attention. Else? Yeah, okay. No big deal, though. Um, yeah, I mean, at this point, you know, Koopa's entire build's going to be a little bit behind. Uh, normally, I would say that uh, more or less for the first five, six minutes... Um, Protoss generally tends to be toe-to-toe -to -toe as far as production is concerned. Um, so for him to be behind even just a handful of, uh, actually, they are toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Don't mind me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're going back and forth here. And, oh, and it looks like that was actually intentional on the top right. Uh, there is a pylon going down there. So, will he hide tech up there? I mean, it seems doubtful. <laughs> It might just be a warp in pie. Oh, God. Super gateways. aggression. Yeah. The, All of the games. Wow. But John's got 22. <laughs> yeah, John's got 22 links on the way. This, this. Uh, Yeah, those are going to show up way before those are done. I mean, John has to know something is up. And, oh, God, does he need a sentry? So bad, and that front door is actually open. Wow. Oh, those seven gates. Oh, the proxy seven gate. Oh, oh he needs to wall it off, or it will I be love all for how God. there is only a single pylon. The artosis of all artosis pylons. Yes. And Lings. suddenly Zerglings. Yep. And yeah, he's like chrono boosting the uh, cybernetic score, like, uh, yeah. That was a mistake. Lots of lots of probes going to be going down. Uh, very nice positioning off that stalker, although it will uh, go down rel rather rapidly. Uh, and with the mothership core not even out at this point, I think this is. Wait, why is he focusing the nexus? Yeah, not quite sure. Maybe he just wants to tear it down. Uh, I mean, I'd... it it's would not be really a wrong thing to completely and utterly destroy. Maybe oh. he thinks he's got the economics, and maybe he doesn't want to continue and just wants to hit this and go home. Well, I can't really go home considering he's fully walled off. But yeah, there's no units here. I mean, I'm surprised John is not being aggressive with this. Come on, John. Go. Go. What are you doing? <laughs> Kill some probes, John. He's like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I mean, at this point, he, he's probably wondering, like, that's that's too many zealots. Yeah, you he's like, where have... did those things come from? Because, I mean, you know, he's really only scouted... Uh, that one single gateway. He's got to be like, what? Where did those? Where did those units come from? Absolutely. And now, slowly killing off his own pylon, and smartly parking to make sure he can't throw down another nexus. But I mean, at this point, Koopa went pretty much all in on this, and he's got no tech. I mean, the lair is a little bit late. You usually see that around seven minutes, so about two minutes late. He doesn't have the income. I mean, even if he were to have yes. enough pylons to get stuff in, uh, he doesn't oh, have... Oh, no. So many lings are going to... He's going for the century. He's just like, mm, yep, going to go for that first. Uh, and, yeah, so we got a small warp in coming in here at the third base. Uh, going to pick off this. Uh, actually, this might get a fair amount of damage done. Uh, we do only have one roach on the way. Surely there's more than that. There's 12. There we go. I'm just like, what? So yeah, at this point, I mean, focusing down the pylon just wants to stop the aggression in its tracks. And, I mean, now Koopa supply blocked hard, so all 11 roaches will be out. He's going to be in A-OK -okay shape as he, as, I mean, Koopa just didn't do nearly the damage that John did to him. So he's yeah. A-OK. -okay. Yeah, and with these roaches coming out, he's going to have more than enough to deal with this. Uh, granted, there are still a lot of zealots here. He just got to be a little bit careful not to uh, lose too many more of these roaches. Um, having them get picked out one by one. Third base is still up. Uh, obviously, John trying to uh, lick his wounds and make sure that he can keep that third base if at all possible. Uh, and yeah, with the, the roaches now cleaning up a lot of these zealots, the uh, zealots will fall. And that 
Should wear less stop us. Ooh, ooh, stalkers. And he accidentally kind of ran into reinforcements, which isn't the best, but will be good enough. And yes, seven more roaches on the way. I'm sure more and more will be streaming in. But yes, John very, or excuse me, Koopa very lacking in the income to really utilize those eight gateways. But we shall see. Yeah, I think he, I think he overcommitted to his gateway production. While eight gateways is usually what you can uh, sustain on uh, two bases. I think he would have been way better off just getting out, uh, getting out six and going with it. So uh, yeah. Let's I mean, the whole thing it, it could have worked if he had properly walled off or had a sentry there or something to stop that aggression. 